The stock market can seem intimidating to beginners, but it's a powerful tool for building wealth over time. We'll cover the basics of what the stock market is, how it works, and how to invest in it. We'll also discuss different investment strategies, risk management, and the importance of diversification. Whether you're just starting your investment journey or looking to optimize your current strategy, we'll give you the tools you need to succeed in the stock market. Welcome to Tips Wealth and Finance, where we help you achieve your financial goals. Today we're going to be discussing how to invest in the stock market. The stock market can be an intimidating place, but it's also a powerful tool for building wealth over time. By investing in the stock market, you can take advantage of long-term growth and compound interest to achieve your financial goals. What is the stock market? The stock market is a collection of markets where stocks and other securities are traded. When you buy a stock, you're buying a small piece of ownership in a company. When the company does well, the value of your stock increases. When the company does poorly, the value of your stock decreases. The goal of investing in the stock market is to buy low and sell high, but it's important to remember that the stock market can be volatile and unpredictable in the short term. How to invest in the stock market? Step 1. Determine your investment goals and risk tolerance. Before you start investing in the stock market, it's important to determine your investment goals and risk tolerance. Are you investing for short-term gains or long-term growth? Are you comfortable taking on a high level of risk or do you prefer a more conservative approach? These are important questions to ask yourself before you start investing. Step 2. Open a brokerage account. To invest in the stock market, you'll need to open a brokerage account. A brokerage account is an investment account that allows you to buy and sell securities like stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. There are many online brokerage options available, and it's important to choose one that fits your needs and budget. Step 3. Choose your investments. Once you've opened a brokerage account, it's time to choose your investments. There are many different types of investments available, including individual stocks, mutual funds, and exchange-traded funds, ETFs. It's important to do your research and choose investments that align with your investment goals and risk tolerance. Step 4. Monitor and adjust your investments. Investing in the stock market is an ongoing process, and it's important to monitor and adjust your investments over time. This might mean rebalancing your portfolio, selling underperforming investments, or buying new investments as opportunities arise. Investment Strategies There are many different investment strategies to consider when investing in the stock market. Here are a few of the most common strategies. 1. Buy and Hold This strategy involves buying stocks and holding onto them for the long term, regardless of short-term fluctuations in the market. 2. Dollar Cost Averaging this strategy involves investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of the current market conditions. For example, suppose an investor wants to invest $10,000 in a particular stock. Instead of investing the full amount at once, the investor might choose to invest $1,000 every month for 10 months. This would allow the investor to take advantage of fluctuations in the stock price over time, buying more shares when the price is low and fewer shares when the price is high. Dollar cost averaging can be a useful strategy for investors who want to avoid the risk of investing a large sum of money all at once and potentially buying in at a market peak. However, it is important to note that DCA does not guarantee a profit or protect against loss, and the success of the strategy depends on a variety of factors, including the performance of the market and the specific investments being made. 3. Value Investing this strategy involves buying stocks that are undervalued by the market and holding onto them until they reach their true value. 4. Growth Investing This strategy involves buying stocks in companies that are expected to experience above-average growth in the future. Risk Management Investing in the stock market comes with a certain level of risk, but there are steps you can take to manage that risk. Here are a few risk management strategies to consider. 1. Diversification this involves spreading your investments across different asset classes and industries to minimize the impact of market fluctuations on your portfolio. 2. Asset Allocation 
This involves dividing your investments among different asset classes based on your investment goals and risk tolerance. 3. Stop loss orders. This involves setting a limit on the amount of money you're willing to lose on a particular investment. If the stock price falls below that limit, the stop loss order is triggered and the stock is sold. 4. Rebalancing. This involves periodically adjusting your portfolio to maintain your desired asset allocation and risk level. The importance of diversification. Diversification is one of the most important concepts to understand when investing in the stock market. By diversifying your investments, you can spread your risk across different asset classes and industries, which can help to minimize the impact of market fluctuations on your portfolio. For example, if you only invest in tech stocks and the tech sector experiences a downturn, your portfolio will be heavily impacted. However, if you also invest in other sectors like healthcare and consumer goods, your portfolio will be better able to weather the storm. Investing in the stock market can be a great way to build wealth over time, but it's important to approach it with a clear strategy and understanding of the risks involved. By following the steps we've outlined, including determining your investment goals and risk tolerance, opening a brokerage account, choosing your investments wisely, and implementing risk management strategies like diversification and asset allocation, you can build a strong portfolio that can help you achieve your financial goals. Remember, investing in the stock market is a long-term game, and it's important to stay disciplined and focused on your goals, even in the face of short-term market fluctuations. So start small, do your research, and don't be afraid to seek out the guidance of a financial advisor if you need help getting started. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos on personal finance and investing. See you next time.